So it's now 2 p.m. and I'm starting the vlog and it's actually not because I forgot about it because I thought about it earlier but the thing is I realized that the days are pretty repetitive right now like there's nothing new like super exciting happening. I got up, I read a bit, I stretched, I first stretched and then I read, uh, then I showered and then we got to a new co-working wait, wait, space wait, wait, which wait. I didn't show you what. Wait, wait. You stretch, you read, you poop, you shower. Yeah, I've, I also pooped. Um, and then we worked. We work now until now. Now we're on our way to grab some food. And that's actually exciting because I saw a place that has acai bowl. If I have, I'm, I'm really excited right now because I haven't had acai bowl since I was in New York, which is like one and a half month ago. So, and this guy is just bitching because he's saying, well, it's 2 p.m. and you can't eat granola and fruit at 2 p.m. for the first bitching. meal. Oh, you're crying and you're like, you guys should see Jay. He's constantly like, it's like, I'm not even going into it. <clears throat> so I might have just found the tool, like the tool, because um, we weird people trying to optimize for productivity. I've tried a lot of apps. Like I've used Evernote for a long time. I've just been trying out Trello. I don't like it at all for like um, project management, but now I've found a new one, Todoist which is basically like a to-do list, but it's more because you have an inbox where you can put a new to-do list. You have a to-do today where you have all the tasks for the day and during the next week, but then you have projects so you can like order all of your projects and have to-do list for all of the projects. And it has an app, so you can, all of to you can do all of that on your phone too. So I'm gonna try that out. It looks really good right now and I feel very much like like it's very streamlined and very clean the dashboard um, I'm gonna try it out now the next couple of days and I'm gonna let you know whether that's the thing like the thing and now we gotta go to buy stuff for the braai and go to Lucas for the braai have you ever wondered whether a cloud should be classified as racist? Because they're white and they don't want to mix with everything around them. I'm sorry, what? Would you ever consider clouds being racist because they're white and don't want to mix with whatever is around them? I'm calling them out right now. Why don't they just mix? Like, look at them. They're just like all being to themselves. What? We have to enter this place. Okay. I'm gonna film it in case we die. I don't actually know what happened, what's happening. Well, okay, I do know. He just got this new thingy and now they got to try this thingy to see if it will kill us or not. Okay, so let's start. Should we leave it on the highest? No, no? let's bring it. I, I don't know. Let's go boys. Yeah, that looks kind of good. That's my job. I'm just going to film the whole thing. It's all for you. Oh, that's all for me. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> you guys eat the bread. As courtesy, courtesy of Lucas, he's actually going to drive us home in this nice vehicle. What's, what's the brand called again? Uh, it's, it's a Golf. Uh, uh, Volkswagen. <laughs> it's a Volkswagen <laughs> Golf. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, they, they, they did some upgrades to the I new just Golf. Tuned, I put a lot of work in. Yeah, uh, yeah. like a new exhaust and yeah, stuff, yeah, and yeah. it suddenly looks like yeah. this. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Thanks for taking us in there. Thanks for bringing us home. Let's get one of these cliche. <laughs> And shakes in the vlog. <laughs> Thank nice. you, sir. So I might just have the funniest story in the history of stories today. 
So when I was in New York, I joined the gym because I wanted to work out and that gym's name was Blink Fitness. And so when I left New York, I wanted to cancel my, well, membership because I can't go to the gym anymore. You understand? And, but here's the thing, Blink Fitness probably has the worst customer support of all of the customer supports out there. In order to cancel your membership for Blink, you can't call them, you can't send an email, they don't even have a contact form on their website. The only way that you can cancel the membership is if you send a physical letter. A physical letter in the 21st century, okay? And so I'm in Germany and I'm like, I'm not sending a fucking letter there. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scrape some emails off of LinkedIn of some people who work at Link, uh, at Blink Fitness and you know, just send them, them a nice email. And so this is the actual email I wrote to people. I said, hey Alan, sorry to bother you with this even though I assume you are very well aware of this. The Blink Fitness customer support is horrendous. I guess making it as hard as you mainly possible could to cancel your Blink membership. A physical letter, like, really helps with focus, helps with retaining customers against their will. I joined Bling because I left the gym a couple of months back when I was doing remote work in New York City. I'm back in Germany again, which means I can't even call Bling's phone number without paying international fees, let alone that Bling is very adamant about letting people know that you can't cancel through the phone anyway. My credit card expired, which means Blink is bombarding my emails, letting me know I need to catch up on payments using an email I can't respond to, as expected. I hope we can resolve this issue by agreeing I won't update my payment information, as I already paid two months of not using the gym. Anyway, all the best, Finn Thormeyer. So I sent this email out to, I don't know, maybe 20-ish people, um, just in the hopes of, you know, maybe one of them responding. And so today I go in there and I got a response. And the response is by a guy called Todd Magazine. And he says, Finn, I'm sorry to hear about this. Clearly, this is not how we want members to feel about Blink. Let me dig in and see what's going on. I or someone on my team will be in touch ASAP. Todd. And so I'm reading this and I'm like, yeah, this sounds amazing, you know, but um, I don't remember who exactly I sent this email to. And so let me just figure out who this Todd guy is and, you know, if he actually has something to say. And so I go on LinkedIn and look up Todd magazine and turns out our Todd magazine, whoop. Actually, I have to finish looking at this is the guy Load you little bitch They were there we go and Really Really LinkedIn Dim 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 turns out Todd magazine our guys actually chief executive officer at Bling fitness Todd is literally the guy. He is CEO and president at Blink Fitness. Like, and Blink Fitness is not a small company. It's like a 500, 600 people company. And we literally got the alpha male, the alpha male Todd magazine to respond to our complaint email. Which is kind of cool if you think about it considering that there's literally no support email, you know? So that's the message I got from Todd. Now I'm waiting for Todd, you know, to actually make some shit happen and cancel my membership. But I just thought I would share this story. You know, sometimes you can just scrape some emails off of LinkedIn and reach the CEO of the company who doesn't have proper customer support. Update, five minutes later, Todd actually made some shit happen. 
So I got this email. Katie replied, hi Finn, thanks for reaching out to us. I'll gladly assist you with canceling your membership via email and waiving the past due balance. If you could please supply proof of your international relocation, blah, 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 blah. Your friend in fitness, Katie. So Todd, I appreciate you. Um, thanks for making this happen. Now I'm gonna provide proof of my relocation and I guess that I'm out. So thanks Todd. And with that, I'm actually gonna sign off the vlog because it's 11, 15 p.m. right now. The video is exporting and I love all of you. And you know, please tune in tomorrow. And I'm very tired right now and I'm gonna go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and that's all. And see you tomorrow, peace. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing